How are we doing, everybody? I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Manchester United there delivering a lovely extra Christmas present on top with a 3-1 win over Huddersfield at home. And it's not just the fact that we beat Huddersfield at home, a team that Manchester United, that you would expect them to win against the Old Trafford. It's the manner of the performance. It's the manner of every single player on the pitch. It's just... It's a completely different United team that we're seeing only a couple of weeks after Jose Mourinho. And we all know it's absolutely no coincidence that this is happening straight after Jose Mourinho. Every time you get rid of a manager, a team gets a boost. Man United's boost has been profound because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has brought back into the club a feeling of Manchester United, back to Manchester United. And that's what that game felt like today. You know, it was ultimately a 3-1 victory. That could have been 3-0. A silly goal conceded at the end. Matic got United kicked off with a 1-0 start in the first half. And then Pogba himself was the man who spearheaded it with two fantastic finishes. So, you know, he's in the last two games, Paul Pogba has been directly involved in four goals. Or in all season, he's been involved in 10 goals. So 40% of the goals that he's been involved in have come in the last 180 minutes. And they've come under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So we're going to talk about Pogba later on. Let me know what you think about the game itself. Who was your man of the match? Was that Paul Pogba? Was that Jesse Lingard? Marcus Rashford? Anybody you want to say. Let me know in the comments below. But going into this game, Manchester United had a real different sort of expectation on them after what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side showed against Cardiff last week. And it wasn't as fantastical as that. It wasn't as supreme as that. You know, the one-touch football, the finishes, the goals that we saw against Cardiff were, for me, on a different level than what I'd seen from Manchester United this season. But today was a sort of performance that, for me, we saw time and time and time again under Fergie. Those games against teams in the who were in the bottom third of the table where you go, you know what? I don't need a special performance today. I just need something that's going to brush past the relegation candidate, maybe score one or two goals, maybe excite the fans and move on. And that is exactly what that game was today for me. Matic got the goal, you know, corner came in, dropped to Matic, he buried it. Great, 1-0. We deserve that goal. And then Popper himself was the man who scored both the other goals. And Popper, you know, you've really got to talk about Popper now because if we've criticised Pogba because I've criticised Pogba a lot this season because, you know, as much as Jose Mourinho, I feel, is at fault between the relationship that's broken down between Pogba and Mourinho, I felt Pogba's attitude itself was not good enough of a Manchester United player, let alone a Manchester United player who had the captain's armband at the start of the season. But today, he was a cut above the rest. That today is the sort of thing that United fans are going, why don't we see that every week? Why don't we see that sort of application every week? Sometimes the end product doesn't come off. Sometimes you don't get the goal. Sometimes you don't get the assist. But it's the application that United fans want to see. And today we absolutely saw it from Paul Pogba. And we see it the last game there against Cardiff as well. Two assists against Cardiff, two goals against Huddersfield. Paul Pogba there showing maybe that between now and the end of the season, he's really going to show us the sort of central midfield performances that helped steer France to a World Cup performance. But after so much negativity under Jose Mourinho, after going into weekends going, oh, fuck man, what to expect from Manchester United anymore? To see that today against Huddersfield, a team who, let's be honest, our relegation candidates are probably going down this year unless a miracle happens. To see us just comfortably take them apart, not really have to get out of third gear, not too much trouble, shouldn't have conceded at the end, set piece weaknesses exposed, sorry, set piece weaknesses exposed there again towards the end. That's fine, that's not a problem if you concede one like that, if you score three at the other end. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer brought on Angel Gomez. And that makes a big difference because at 3 0, Jose Mourinho would have done something very different. He would have taken off, 
you know, he wouldn't have started Fred in the first place, but he would have taken off Fred. He would have taken off Lingard. He would have put on Fellaini. He would have put on somebody else to shore up that midfield, to make sure that Manchester United were in total control for the last 10, 15 minutes of that game. Instead, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer used that 15 minutes to give Angel Gomez some Premier League experience. Because he knew that if United conceded a goal, it doesn't matter. We're still going to win 3-1. And that's the difference between the manager that we had and the manager that we have in their mindset. And that bodes very well. You know, I, I now expect Mason Greenwood to make his Manchester United debut against Reading in the FA Cup that's coming up. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to do a hell of a lot of good for Manchester United between now and the end of the season. But today on Boxing Day, to complete the festivities, Manchester United with a very, very comfortable 3-1 win against Huddersfield. And let's look at the last couple of games we played at Old Trafford against relegation candidates. I remember Crystal Palace. Let's not talk about that. I remember Southampton. Let's not talk about that. But let's talk about Huddersfield instead under Solskjaer. First two games, six points, eight goals, two conceded, one a very silly goal right at the end. Things are on the up under Solskjaer. And it is impossible not to be going into 2019 with a big smile on your face and a real sense of positivity about Manchester United. But let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you're new to United People's TV, subscribe to the channel. Take it easy. Until next time, see you later.